So I thought I was going, I heard, I happened to just stumble on CNN yesterday. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh my God, this was the story all day. Dysfunction in the vice president's office, tension between the White House and Kamala Harris. And I'm like, what are they taught? I mean, honestly, you said CNN invite invents entirely new type of coverage for this vice president. Gosh, what's different about her? <laughs> right? Yeah. And, and and there was a flurry of uh, uh, Harris gotcha pieces over the weekend. Uh, Politico did one, I think. Uh, and I tweeted, gee, this this seems like a coincidence, right? I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, there has never been a vice president who has been covered the way this vice president was. Vice presidents traditionally don't have any reporters assigned to them specifically. Uh, Harris has several full-time reporters assigned to her. She just came back. You know, the whole gist is, oh, we're, you know, part of the uh, narrative. Oh, she's disappeared. They're hiding her. Why doesn't she do more? A, the U.S. vice presidency has been what it is for 200 years. Thank you. <laughs> I was I was thinking that, Eric, yesterday. I'm watching, I'm going, I couldn't every vice president, the vice president feels constrained and it feels like, you know, she's not been given enough to, I'm like, every oh single vice God. president in the history of yeah. it could have said the same thing, right? I mean, we've seen the West Wing episodes. This has been going on for centuries. <laughs> every vice president feels boxed in and not used. And there has never been a co-president in the history of this country. Yeah. But apparently she's supposed to be co-president. Yeah, uh, because it's based on gossip that Joe Biden isn't going to run for, for re-election. And then so the gossip on top of the gossip is, um, well, there's dysfunction in the White House and they don't know what to do. If I, you know, the whole thing is ridiculous. The entire, So my original point was, uh, oh, she's you know, they have, her, you know, she's under lock and key. Nobody ever sees her. She was just in France. Right. She was just, you know, in one of her lar- higher profile foreign policy trips. You know, this was supposedly to fix the crisis, the U.S.-France crisis over the yeah, submarine yeah, deal yeah. that is no longer a crisis, and, and she took questions over there. Uh, so, and and CNN runs this ridiculous hit piece uh, on the day we learned that, you know, uh, Trump didn't care if his vice president got killed yeah. on January 6th. Couldn't care less. Yeah. But it's the but it's Democrats who have this dysfunction because Harris aides aren't talking nicely to the West Wing or something. It's yeah. never even clear I, from that article. What by the, the way, since you brought up John Carl, I mean it's just I know he's just one of a million different books, but I okay. I just wish people would speak out in real time at the at the really the peril that our democracy yeah. is in. Like for instance, even that thing that's been released, the audio, you know, of him yeah. saying, mm-hmm. you know, weren't you worried about, you know, the vice president. I mean, but he's like, oh, you know, John, it's uh, it was it's common sense, I guess, hanging the vice president's common sense. But he said, you know, Apparently. it's well, you can't, you know, pass a fraudulent thing along. And John Carl says, mm-hmm, yeah, uh-huh. it's like, yeah. why not in the moment yeah. go? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Even your, uh, you know, attorney general, your head of counterterrorism, terrorism, whatever, said there was no fraud. Sixty yeah. judges, including ones you appointed, said there was no fraud. But there's no even pushback, right? On, no, so it's just, yeah. So there's a few things wrong. A, you're right. Everyone hides these, you know, the juicy pieces for their books. You know, the, the Trump books have done more damage to journalism and democracy in this country than than, yeah. than lots of other things. So right after Trump les, left office, he was down at Mar-a-Lago and there was just a revolving door. There were a couple of articles on this on all these people writing books. And they all got their time to sit with Trump and they all get their quotes and they all get their audio clips. And as you say, nobody pushes back in real. They're there to get their content and leave and keep it for their book that will be out in six months because they got a seven hundred thousand dollar advance. And that's the way the game is played. And Uh, and, and it's not really journalism. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, But uh, yeah, the the Jonathan Carl's a perfect piece. He leaks something back in June, I think, that was newsworthy. You know, we, yeah. we, we lose track of the insanity. Well, well how isn't it but... newsworthy to confront Trump in real time yeah, exactly. and say, no, no sir, it's them. not common Everybody... sense. And there was no fraud. There was no, no fraud. I mean, it, and it's classic access journalism. 